Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your first JavaFX project in IntelliJ IDEA IDE using Scene Builder. I'm also going to show you how you can download and install uh, Scene Builder on your Windows operating system and set up with your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to create a new JavaFX project and then we are going to uh, download and install this uh, scene builder okay so just open up your uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE and we are going to create a new project from here and in here you can see different options on the left hand side so we are going to choose this uh, JavaFX option which is fairly simple so just choose JavaFX and then click next and in here you just need to give the title to your project for example java fx project and then i'm going to just click finish and this is going to create a java fx project for us okay so this is really simple and fairly simple so let's see what are the files which are present inside our java fx project so i'm going to just expand this and in the source folder we have three files one is the main file which we expect and there is a bare bone or you know code there for the main uh, class right and then we have a controller and then we have a fxml file so this fxml file is responsible for the design of our uh, you know javafx uh, scene you can say okay and right now uh, we don't have scene builder scene builder is a tool in which you can you know design your ui okay so you can see here there is an option for scene builder but when i click this option it says please configure javafx scene builder path right so right now there is no scene builder installed and when I run this program, so I'm going to just click the screen button and I'm going to uh, run this. It's going to just show us a blank, uh, you know, scene. You can see here. So, and our cl controller class is empty. Only our main class uh, is here. And in the main class, we are calling the launch function in the main method here. And there is one more method which is start method which we are overriding and in here we are just uh, you know calling our fxml file and then we are creating the stage for us right whose uh, width is 300 and height is 275 so let's see how we can uh, download and install scene builder and then we will configure scene builder with uh, IntelliJ idea so just open your favorite browser and search for JavaFX scene builder and uh, strangely Oracle doesn't support scene builder anymore so if you want a latest version of scene builder you need to go to a website called glueonhq.com which is this one okay so you don't need to go to oracle.com but go to gluon hq.com slash open source slash scene builder which is this option okay so just click this option and in here you can see uh, this glue on website and in here you can see the download now button so you just need to click download now and you can see different options here so the one we are interested in is this option which is for windows x64 which is for windows 64 bit uh, operating system which is this third option so you just need to click this download button and once this um, executable file will be downloaded you just need to run the executable file it's not uh, you know very complicated to install it you just need to click some next button and it will be installed but after installing it the step after installing is important so once you have installed the scene builder on your windows operating system there is a fixed path in which it's installed by default and this part we are going to see right now so just open your folder explorer and in here go to c uh, drive here and in the c drive go to users 
and in the users go to your computer name in my case my computer name is programming knowledge in your case this will be your name or whatever your computer name is so I'm going to click this and in here I am going to go inside the app data folder okay so app data folder and inside the app data I have this local folder and inside the local folder I will be able to find the scene builder folder okay so once you download and install the scene builder it will be you know located at this location so go to this location I'm going to just paste this path in the description also so that you don't forget it okay so go to this path until local and then if you see scene builder after installing scene builder just select this and cut it from here so I'm going to just select it and cut this folder from here and I'm going to paste it in my C drive so I will just go to my C drive and in here I'm going to paste it okay so why I'm doing this because it's a simple path which I can remember and it's not really complicated right so now I have the scene builder folder in my C drive right and when I open it it has this scene builder dot exe file okay so once you have the scene builder dot exe file here we are ready to you know provide the path of uh, this folder in the IntelliJ idea so I'm going to minimize everything and in the IntelliJ idea first of all maybe I can copy this path and in the IntelliJ idea just open your uh, sample fxml file I'm going to minimize this also and in the sample uh, dot fxml file here I'm going to just uh, choose the scene builder option and then I will click path here okay and then in here I will be able to find the path of uh, my scene builder folder so let's see where it is so here it is right so I just uh, click this scene builder here and then just choose the executable file for the scene builder which is this one okay so choose scene builder dot exe from here inside the scene builder and then click ok and once you click ok it's going to configure scene builder here and then you can see our sample dot fxml file is shown in the scene builder you know designer view okay so I'm going to just uh, maximize it so that we can see it better and right now it doesn't have anything so right now we can see there is a grid pane here but it doesn't have uh, the size and width here so you can go to the layout property here you can see and in the layout property there is a pref width and pref height which you can change so you can just uh, give the pref width for example 300 and pref height is equal to 300 here and press enter and now you can see uh, some uh, kind of uh, grid pane here okay and when you uh, save it and go to the text view you will be able to see here pref width is set to 300 and pref height is set to 300 here okay so whatever you change in the designer it's going to be implemented in this fxml file also okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to take a button so we will go to controls option here and the first option here in control says button so we are going to drag and drop this button in the grid pane and you can just resize it and now what we are going to do is we want to uh, click this button and we want to perform some action right so what we will do now is we are going to uh, you know write some code in the controller class in order to you know uh, you know execute the button press event okay so when you go to the text uh, option here and the sample.fxml file when you just uh, scroll it on the right hand side you can see our controller class is sample.controller 
right so by default it's sample dot controller which is this class which is automatically created for us so we will go to the controller class and inside the controller class we will just create a method for example public void for example press button and it's going to take one argument which is action event so just write action event okay and just write the name of uh, your argument for example event itself and then we are going to uh, execute some code inside this method so for simplicity i'm going to just print something for example i'm going to just write s out and press the tab button which is going to generate this code for me for printing uh, some uh, line so print line and then i'm going to just write hello okay so i'm going to print hello world whenever somebody presses this button and now save this code and then go to your sample.fxml file here and then go to the scene builder here and in the scene builder go at the right bottom and here you will be able to see this code so just click code here and in the code you will be able to uh, find this fx id so in the controller first of all we need to define this fx id for uh, the button right so what we are going to do next is we can give some id to our button here so for example btn msg for message button message right msg it's not necessary for uh, this step but later whenever you uh, you know uh, put some label or some other uh, component here or, or widget here you uh, may have to give the fx id for that and then you need to define that fx id in your controller but for now we just want to you know uh, perform the button action uh, method so what we can do right now is we can go to just select first of all this button here and make sure you have given this uh, button uh, message or any id to your uh, button and then in on action uh, you know category here you will be able to find your method you have defined which is press button right so we have defined this press button method here you see we have just uh, defined this method so as soon as you save your code you will be able to see uh, this when you drag and drop here button press okay so this is the same method which we have defined in the controller okay and uh, give the fx id also right and then save your code and now we are going to run our code okay so let's run the code and let's see what happens now so right now it's showing me some error so let's see what the error is so i can see here the error here is error resolving on action press button either the event handler is not the namespace or there is error in the script right so when i open this uh, controller.java class here in the import by default it takes the action event class from awt which we don't want right we want the class from the java fx right so instead of this uh, java.awt.event dot action event we want this option which is java fx dot event dot action event we want this action event class not the awt action event class and that's why this error was uh, you know given to us so by default it was taking the awt action event class right so just correct this import and then save it once again and we are going to run it once again and hopefully the error will be gone this time so now our uh, you know window is open and when i click this uh, button hopefully we will be able to see hello world here also so i will click the button and you can see hello world is printed once again hello world is printed when i click the button right 
so this is fairly simple okay so in this way you can uh, create your first JavaFX project in IntelliJ IDEA using the scene builder so I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now